Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Uh, boy. So in the last episode, uh, we've pretty much gotten most of the stuff we needed to go fight Kalasmos. Uh, we strengthened Cetacea, as well as gotten a bunch of premonitions from Morkant, uh, who turned out to be the Seer. Now you might be wondering, hey John, why are you starting on this weird screen. Well, that's because I wanted to show off some of the new stuff I got, cause, because I did a lot of stuff off-screen. The first thing you might notice is that, hey, we're in cobblestone. I went off-screen, I completely redid the entire quest for rebuilding cobblestone. It's basically, you gotta go around the uh, world and find a bunch of people to bring back here to help rebuild. Like, you gotta go to Cobblestone Tor and rescue Dirk from... Uh, a like really powerful Hades Condor. I actually went back to Octagonia, where uh, under Kalasmos's influence, Arachdagon had resurrected and actually started draining fighters of their powers again. But instead of helping Vince, who actually helped us fight Arachdagon this time, uh, he was helping the other fighters out. Uh, what else? Oh, we went back to the Hexwood and fought the, uh, we fought Yorman, which, oh my god, that fight made me want to fucking kill myself. That was terrible. Um, but yeah, we did that. And I forget what the last part of the cobblestone quest was. Uh, oh! We had to do something with, uh, that informant. I can't remember what we had to do, though. Well, Connie's father. Uh, well, anyway, they're, they're in the village now, too. Uh, the village is back to the way it was, and now in the uh, shop, that's now run by Dirk here, he actually sells this really incredibly powerful new item called a Pep Pop. Now, that induces Pep into everyone in the party, but only during battle. Uh, on, however, it does cost 200,000 gold coins, so I ended up buying a couple and used them in grinding. Now, speaking of grinding, I have done quite a lot of it. Everyone's in the 80s now. As you can see, the levels are a little inconsistent, because, you know, certain pe some people die during fights. It's bound to happen. But yeah, I'm 85, Serena's 82, Hendrix 85, Jay's 83, Eric's 87, Veronica is the highest of us at 88, uh, Rab's level 82, and Sylvando's level 83. Um, now for the other reason I'm heading. I got some new equipment as well. As you can see, I have uh, Erdwin's equipment for the protagonist. It's actually what we get from doing the uh, trials in uh, Dunstran's Labyrinth. I actually did most of those off-screen. I still haven't finished the last one, but, uh, yeah, once you complete the trials, you're put into a room with Dunstran. He gives you a challenge battle to complete, and if you complete it within the, within the specified amount of turns, uh, you get to pick a reward. Now, I've gotten two of the rewards already. The first is that we can forge a weapon called the Supreme Sword of Light. That will be the most powerful single-handed sword in the game, and that's what we're going to try to get in this episode. Now, as for the other thing I got, you might have noticed it with uh, Serena's portrait, but there's actually a ring you can get from the Trials, which uh, changes Serena's hair. It gives her the short hair, and I gotta say I really like that, and I really like the Serenica outfit. Okay, I have the Serenica outfit for Serena. <clears throat> And I have the Drustin armor for Hendrik. He looks so fucking cool. I think everyone else is pretty much unchanged. Oh, right. Well, my, I just have it on Jade, because it's uh, better for... What is it? How'd I do that? Oh, yeah. Item drops. That's why. Um, 
What would be better for you? The bunny suit. Actually, yeah, just take the agility guy. Oh, and you know what? Totally forgot, I didn't even show off the best part yet. So if we go here, uh, let me show you the character builder panels for everyone. As you can see, I've gotten quite a bit for everyone. We've almost completed most peoples. However, I think there's still a bit more to unlock for, like, Silvando and Hendrik, because I have actually completed Silvando and Hendrik's stuff, but they still have more skill points, and, I mean, their grids aren't like everyone else's. I mean, they're both missing a section. So I'm thinking... Well, actually, I do know what I have to do. There's a quest that I got from uh, Don Rodrigo when I went back to Puerto Valor. Uh, basically, there's this trial that Silvando and Hendrik have to underdo together to strengthen themselves as knights. They have to defeat two golden enemies in the King's Barrow, the place where we got the red orb with Eric way back in the beginning of the game, uh, after using a certain pet power. So, we'll, we'll get to doing that. Now, I, I could go off and fight Kalasmos right now. However, I want to do a bunch of the side stuff first. Since, I mean, you know, we might as well. Alright, so the first place I want to go, because the very first thing I want to do is I want to make the Supreme Sword of Light. So, actually off screen, I did do one other thing for the Supreme Sword of Light. I went back to the battleground and actually collected another chunk of Orichalcum, as well as uh, defeating that uh, that Crystalotl that was giving us so much trouble before, and I used it to strengthen Serena's uh, harp, which gave her an additional 100 points to her magic mending, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, for now, we need a couple of other things for... Uh, making another sort of light. For example, we need to go back to Galopolis. And we need to get the forging hammer. Now, in order for us to get the forging hammer, it's not going to be the same thing as it was last time, where we just go up and ask the king for it. Uh, no, we're going to have to go and complete the horse races, something I actually never did in the uh, main game, mostly because I didn't know it actually existed. But, uh... Yeah, I believe I read that if we complete the Silver Cup, we'll get the Forging Hammer. That's weird. Alright, so let's see where we have to go for this. Man, why is it like every time I come here, it's nighttime? So remember, I came here off screen, and uh, of course I came during nighttime. No, no visitors in the palace at night. Fucking goddamn it! <sighs> Whatever. It's Klasmos up in the sky from here. Here we go. Yeah, let me. Stay overnight. Alright. Now let's go do some horse racing. <laughs> oh boy. that did this. I wonder if I remember how to do this. Oh wait, who do I talk to for the races then? Oh, I just go through here. Oh, yeah, here we go. 
Oh. Oh no, we have to come to the Platinum Club. Club? Cup. Easy. Okay, we just have to do it on easy. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Alright. We got a metal slime helm, too. Got a Peloton garb. Oh, that's for the protagonist. And then we just get some slime areas. Let's see. Gold Bracer. Assassin. Increases critical hit chance by 1%. Crimson Claws. Sky Steed st Sword. That's actually really cool looking. Alright, well, let's do some races then. Let's see if I actually remember how to do this. Again, I cannot emphasize how long it has been. Oh, let's just skip the intro to the race. Since we did the horse race. What was that back in like episode... Almost like 10. Probably earlier than that. I don't know. getting used to. I almost lapped the guy. <laughs> Jeez. Yay, slime earrings. Hey, a chunk of copper ore. And take part in the silver cup. Well, let's go. Get into the costume. So that was the same course we raced on against uh, Silvando the first time. So I wonder what the other courses are going to be like. There's no ramp at the end of this one. The red horse now. Turns. Take that shorter one. I 
Nothing too bad yet. Gold cup. I was gonna put all my gold in the bank before I did this. Glad I didn't. That was pretty close. <laughs> Alright, now all that's left is the Platinum Cup. go the other way on this one. Huh. So this one's all left turns instead of right turns. Because of that one guy knocking into me right here. Motherfucker. God damn it. You son of a bitch. I was a second behind his ass, too. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Alright, let's hope these fucking assholes won't like ram me into the fucking wall lap one and screw me over. 
fucking come on. Start with me. There we go. Much better. Alright, let's secure the forging hammer then. Alright, we got that. Alright, so our next destination is to Hotto, because we need to get the key for the forge. things we need to get. First things first, where's the item shop? The weapon shop. I believe the first person we need to go see is... Not in front of the weapon shop. Oh, men from a tool shop. Hold on. Oh, no, it's about the item shop. Or, oh, it's it's that pink dot over there. What do you have to say? Monsters roam the land, yet Miko does not guide us. Her silence like snow. They say she is gone, hiding up on the mountain. Elusive as mist. Ah oh, yeah, she has to deal with her son. Now here's the guy we need to say. I have traveled far, seeking my life's true meaning. My quest, my calling. Finally I know. The blade I was born to forge. Fabled sword of kings. Weapon of legend, fit for the hands of royals. Blade beyond compare. But I need one thing, a metal, or a calcum. 
rarer than hen's teeth. No price is too high, though it leaves me destitute. I will gladly pay. Yeah, I, I have some more calcum. But can this be true? Can it be you have it? The treasure I seek. Please sell it to me. How does 22,500 gold coins sound? What if I say no? Rejection scares me. The pain burns like hot pokers. Please, please think again. Alright, I guess that's fine. I thought I could get the, f get the price up, but oh well. This is the real thing. With this I can forge the blade. Blessed sword of kings! First I shall make it. Then I shall sell it right here. My great masterpiece. to wait a while on that. Because we actually do need the Sword of Kings for the Supreme Sword of Light. Now let's go see Miko about opening up Forge. Scale the mountain slopes, go find her there. Oh, okay. I know where she is. She's in the volcano with her son. So we gotta go fight Tatsunaga again. And I've... <laughs> wild guess here. If the previous bosses I've already fought are any indication. My wild assumption is he's going to be a, mal a malicious version of Tatsunaga. <sighs> I think better be running away from me. I'm level 85. Although, you know, now that I am at e level 85, maybe this will be a little easier. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta do all the stuff for, uh, the Wheel of Harma, too. I wonder if I can do that, the level I'm at. <laughs> Guess we'll see. Hey, we'll actually have a battle in this episode. Who would have thought? Maybe more. Because I know I can go fight the Auroral Serpent again. I tried doing it. Off screen. Did not work out. Kicked my ass ten ways from Sunday. These guys are gonna fucking wake up. They're so fucking terrified of me. Hey! Fucking thing didn't do this last time. Actually, you know what? I just want us to change up my lineup. I want to bring in Eric instead of Jade. I rarely use Eric. I might want to swap in Veronica at 1.2. Hey, Miko. Unexpected guests arrive like snow in July. Will you hear my tale? Yeah. Believe it or not, this great dragon is my son, victim of a curse. But hope is not dead. 
I have a special mirror, one that shows the truth. Yet we need more still, a drop of luminescence to light up the glass. Bring that drop to me. Heal the pain that rends my heart. Save my only son. Wait, can this be true? Can that be luminescence? Is salvation near? Hope is rekindled. The mirror can be made clear. My son can be saved. Will you hear my plea? Will you bring light back to us as sun pierces clouds? John gives the luminescence to Miko. Words will not suffice. You have given us a chance. A light in the darkness. At last, its power awakens. Now to see the truth. Mira, with your light, rid us of the dragon's curse. Let my son be free! So we don't have to fight. <laughs> ah, I guess not. of the mirror, heralds of the truth. My joy knows no bounds. United with my mother, dawn breaks on heart's hills. We owe you a debt. We await you in the shrine. Let us give thanks there. I mean, that was really sweet and all, but I was kind of expecting a fight. <laughs> oh well. Hey, you know what? N no, no fighting, that's, that's fine with me. Although I think I do actually have to fight if I want to get one of the last materials I need for the, uh... Supreme Sword of Light. Oh, that's gonna suck. Alright, hey, how's your sword coming along, my pal? Oh, cool. This is on sale. Oh no, I guess it would be at his store, not at the weapon shop. I think that only makes sense. Yep, Sword of Kings. Just put in the equipment bag for now. Oh, thank goodness I had enough money to buy it. Alright, so hey, yeah, we only need one more material now to make the, uh... Sword, because if I'm not mistaken, I should have everything else. Uh, let's see. Item bag. I have... Uh, what else do I need? I know I need an uber-agate of evolution. I have a bunch of those. 
I also needed spectralites. I do have some spectralites. I just need two crimsonites. That's it. Our savior appears, the light gifted to the world, the luminary. There could be no doubt. I saw the fire in your eyes, pure as heaven's flame. I know who you are, the one to banish darkness as dawn does the night. Now you come to us to seek Mount Fuji's power, the world's sacred hearth. Take my offering, the key to the place you seek, the volcano's heart. There was a poem, one told to us as children. Let me now recall. A lake of lava, the holy flame with it cast within, crucible reborn. The mountain's secrets, even I do not know all. What wonders sleep there? Go, Luminary, go to the volcano's heart. Seek the crucible. While we're here, we might as well forge the other sword of light. Make a supreme sword of light. I just have to get dragon souls for Crystalinda. That's how we'll get the uh, Crimsonite. thought everything's running from me now. As it should. Oh my god. <laughs> so I need to go through the gate first, John. Let's forge us another sword of light. Let's make one. So we did it, huh? A second sword of light. So, are you gonna give it a try or what?
Alright, we got our second sword of light. Now, if we wanted to, we could dual wield swords of light. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. But, uh, I think I'll just keep my shield. There's my red shield. There it is. Alright, so now that we've gotten that, I really don't have any crimsonite, do I? about all that stuff. Oh well. Uh, alright, so we have to go to Sniffleheim. I think we should have to fight a dragon. If I'm not mistaken. I just need to go over to, uh, not here right now. We need to go over to, where is it? Celestial Sands. So let's head over to the Gondolia Camp. Not Gondolia Campsite. The Galapagos Campsite. We need to look for an enemy called a Prusless. It's actually a good thing I stuck Eric in the party. Because we're going to need him to steal. You know, now that I think about it, we, we've never had him do that during the playthrough. I never had Eric steal shit. Alright. Hey, we can actually use our horse for the first time in, like, forever. That's in the northern part of the Celestial Sand. Oh, just ran into that one. Stunned to move. That's a good sign. All right, Eric, come on. Yeah, there we go. Good shit, buddy. You know, can't say I didn't expect that to happen. Can I use whack on you? Oh, that was a critical whack. Scrap metal. Uh, let's use cover strike. Yeah, there we go. Could have gone for a critical claim. That would have done some good damage. Got defense down. Yeah. Oh, Serena just killed him. Oh, let's see how much damage Eric would have done. Who else wants some? 
Oh well. Well, I'm pretty happy we got one on our first try. Half inch again. Damn it. I'll start wearing him down a little bit. Let's dazzle him. Or not. Scrap metal. There we go. <laughs> Thought she'd be able to get him again. Uh oh. Oh god, Serena. Really like this ability with Eric. Guaranteed critical hit. Oh. Assassin stab. Oh yeah, I actually got another panel on Eric's, Erica, Eric's character builder, where uh, what is it? When he dual wields weapons, he uh. The attack of his second weapon isn't halved. So he just does full damage with two weapons, and that is fucking amazing. Oh, we got the Serpent Souls. Just gotta go see Crystalinda, and we'll forge our Sword of Light. And, you know, we could end the episode there. Actually, I think we might. Then, in the next episode, we'll do some more side stuff. Because we're actually in a perfect place to do some side stuff. Sure there's something we can do about Mia, since she's still encased in gold back in her cave. And, uh, actually, at Frizzabelle's request, we can actually go fight the Oral Serpent again. Yes, please, Crystalinda. Let's get some Crimsonite. Campsite from here. <laughs> I'm so glad this isn't Dragon Quest Wake 8 where you can't zoom inside. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Focus increases by 40, holy shit. Alright. Let us forge the Supreme Sword of Light. This is going to be one hell of a challenge. Let's see. Go with triple whammy. Ooh, inspiration. I 
Don't do that. Fucking come on! I'm not gonna get anywhere to fucking stop doing that! Why does it have to move back on its own? Why the fuck does it do that? What the fuck was that? Well, this is gonna turn out like shit. Well, we still got the Supreme Sword of Light, even though it turned out like total fucking garbage. Go away, achievement. Trophy, go away. I want to fucking see my new shit. Alright, increases my charm, but that's about it. Cures a single ally of negative status effect when used, in, when used as an item in battle. That's pretty good. Alright, so yeah, Supreme Sword of Light. Dual wheel bees. <laughs> nah. I'll just take the Supreme Sword of Light. Now I wonder if I want to try and rework it in these 30 perfectionist pearls. We'll wait on that. Um, but yeah. I think we'll end things off here in the next episode, guys. We will, uh,. <clears throat> start doing some of the side stuff here in Sniffleheim. So, I will see you guys then. Bye!